All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is 3D7. Here we go. We used to call this the half pike, but uh, now it's just called 3D7. Okay, we like to go with the original names. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to show you what it looks like from the three different sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw them from the three different sides and show you how I decide which side I would draw first. Okay, so looking at this from, let's go back to, no, let's stay on hidden. I'll go to the front side here, and you'll see that it looks kind of like uh, an upside-down T, okay? Um, I'll go to the right side, and that's going to look like... So this part is the base that's coming towards us. This is the fillet that's in there that's coming towards us, and then this is the part that's going up. So not really a describable shape, but you understand what I'm talking about. And then from the top, we have something that is like a big oval with the two drill holes. And then the part, this here is going to be a fillet. This is going to be a fillet. And then this is going to be the part that sticks up with that drill hole through there. Okay. So um, what I want to do is I want to draw these shapes and all three sides. Okay. So let's do the top first. But at first, I want to actually flip this. Um, I want to go back to hidden. That way I can refer back to these dimensions. And then I'm going to start a new drawing here. Okay, so from the top, we're going to be drawing something that is six inches long by two and three quarters deep. And it's a perfect half circle around the outside, which means that the radius is one and three eighths. You know that it's one and three eighths even without that number because if this is two and three quarters, half of that would find you in the center and that would be the radius of your circle or a diameter of two and three quarters. Okay, so six by two and three quarters. So from the top, I'm going to draw like this, six inches. And I'm going to be doing these like at the same time because I don't want people to just watch the first couple minutes and do it one way. I want you guys to see all three ways. 2.75, 6, and close. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll go into fill it. We'll do radius, 1 and 3 eighths. And that'll give you... Now here, if you know that you're going to do multiple, you could have hit multiple down here rather than hitting space bar to bring you back in. But we get something like that. Uh, we then go in and draw the circles. Those circles are three of them, radius one half. So that's going to be at the same center. One half radius. Space bar brings me back into circle. Click at the center there. One half. And then in the middle, don't worry about the fillets for now because we can always do fillet edge later on. Um, worry about where this shape is going to come up. So if I'm looking at this thing from the top, which I have the privilege or, or uh, ability to just kind of look at the top of this 3D model, you'll see that it just looks like a box, okay? That box, if you put a line down the middle, the thickness here is going to be, let's see if we have that dimension somewhere. It's probably going to be a half inch because that's how deep this is. And yes, it's a half inch, okay? So that box, if you put a line down the middle, is going to be offset one-fourth, one-fourth left, one-fourth right. So again, the point of doing this is that I haven't quite told you which way I would draw this from. There's probably two good ways to draw it from, but there's one that I definitely would not do, okay? So what would I have to do in this one? I would have to close this shape, okay? I'd have to close that. I'm going to take these four and join because they're going to be something that gets pulled up. So it's different than the rest of the piece. Then I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, six and join those. And those are going to get extruded down. So if I go into my 3D view now, uh, you know what? I don't want to go any further yet. Hang on. Let's leave that there for a second. Now let's go from the front side. Okay. The front side is six by half by six by half and then you're going to put a line down here and I don't know how high that's going to go so let's go back here our entire height is two and three quarters from the top shelf not from the very bottom so if, if I started a line right here I'd go two and three quarters up so again not from down here but from up here going up two and three quarters and again, that's a line that's in the middle, so I would go one-fourth left, one-fourth right. I'd get rid of this. I would trim this. I would close the top. That's what I would start with on the front view, okay? So now I, I have two of these drawn. I'm just going to move them away from each other so it doesn't get messed up in a 3D view. 
Uh, and then the last one is going to be from the right side. Okay, the right side, I'm going to draw that like way over here. Um, I'll tell you right now, I don't draw from the right side. So that doesn't mean don't listen to this part, but let me tell you why. When I go to the right side, uh, the problem is, okay, here's the problem. If you do 2.75 and a half and 2.75 and then close, okay, then you go up 2.75 and you come over 2.75 and then you go down and then close that one, you end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, that's going to be a join. It's not impossible from this way, it's possible from any way, but there's just easier ways. This is going to be a join, that's four lines, okay? So I've got one, two shapes. The problem with this one is that when I pull this one towards me, that one is going to be at the back. But I really want this one to be on both sides. I want it to be behind it and in front of it, okay? So let's go with that one first. Oh, you know what? Let's do some fillets on that first. And this is still 2D, so it's not going to be fillet edge yet. It's just fillet. When you're in a 3D model, then it's fillet edge. And I could hit multiple. One, two, one, two. And then let's put our circle in there. Uh, let's see if I can get a center here. Here's another trick for you. If it's not giving you something, you can type in the first three letters of what you're looking for. So you can type in C E N enter, and now it will only look for center points. It won't find anything else. Or E N D enter would only find endpoints, or M I D for midpoint. All right, so you can see that now I'm only getting the center point. And okay, so here's the problem. This says right, and that says right. So somehow this got messed up. Let's go back to top and then change this to right side. You'll notice this still says top. That's correct. It wasn't letting me draw on this side because that got flipped somehow. So it must have been when I undid something. So C and enter, center, one half. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the top. Again, you don't need to draw these three sides. You only need to draw one of these, but I'm showing you the three different ways. Okay, so let's go with this one first. Here's the problem with this one. If I, I'm down the middle right now, okay? So let's say I took this one and I extrude that negative one half. Okay, great, that's the middle part. You could subtract this, that looks nice. But now I've got this here, I would have to move this out. Um, how far is that gonna go? 2.75, and then I would have to extrude this six. Whoops, negative six. So I could also just move this six. Then I would have to do my fillet edges, then I'd have to put my circles in, then I'd have to union it, then I'd have to subtract my subtract the circles. It's a lot of work for something that could be a lot easier. Okay, so let's get rid of that one. Now let's go back to the top and the bottom right corner. Uh, these two, I, I, I like this one the best, but let's go with this one. Okay, so let's do extrude. Let's select what we want to extrude. Oh, we got to join first. So we got to take all these and join. Double check your numbers. This says eight objects converted to one polyline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is correct. If it said nine to one, nine to two, ten to three, none of that would be correct. Okay, so you'd have to check and see why there would be that many lines. So take this, extrude it back, negative 2.75. Then our fillet, this is actually going to be a fillet edge, radius one and three eighths. So now I'm gonna do those, whoops. Fillet radius one and three eighths. Be careful, maybe zoom in a little bit just to make sure you get the correct edge. One, two. See, this is tough right here because this line back there is perfectly lined up with that. So you gotta orbit a little bit so you can see the difference. Three, four, five, six, enter, enter. Now I would have to put a line on each one. This is gonna be a line here. That's going to be a line there on each face. So let me orbit so you can see what I'm talking about. I need those lines because I can no longer get the center point of a 3D model circle. So then I can go in here. I'm in the top view still. That's the last thing I clicked. So I can do this one. I could, I'm just clicking anything right now because I'm not going to do it this way. I can do that one. Then I would... Whoop. Then I would have to change to the right side and I'd be able to do this one. I would extrude all three of those in three different, two different directions, subtract them, and then it would be done. But it's too much work. All right, last one. Back to the top, bottom right corner. Watch how much easier this one is. This is already joined. This and this get extruded down, negative one half. This gets extruded up, positive 2.75. Now we only have to fill it edge 
one and three eighths on two of these lines. Damn, I keep doing that. Sorry. One, two, enter, enter. Uh, we would only have to draw the line on one of these faces, little orbit, so we can see what we're doing here. Then I would change to the right side. You see the grid. That means I can draw on that side. I'll do a little orbit so you can see what we're looking at here. And then this is going to go one half. Get rid of the line. Extrude this negative one half. Make sure that's actually inside the model and that it didn't go accidentally the other way, like out here somewhere. Um, and then I would union the top and bottom. You don't want to union these in because that's just going to make it solid like that. You, you want to subtract those away. So union, top and bottom piece, enter. Those are now one. Um, we want to subtract the circles, which you would have had to do on all three of them. One, two, three. So that was subtract. Click what you want to subtract it from. Enter. What do you want to subtract? Those three. Enter. Okay. On, uh, let's see, conceptual, we can see that the holes went through. So that's good. Back to 2D wireframe. And then we have two more fillet edges to go. Radius, one half. And that's going to be that line back there and this one here. Enter, enter. One of them shows you what it looks like. The second enter, the second enter shows you or actually saves it. Okay. So now we go back on conceptual. Looks pretty good. And it's done. Reset your view back to top. Bottom right corner, which is the perfect isometric view. This is going to go back to hidden for printing. You're going to put your line weights on there. You use one fourth inch text height. You put your name, period, whatever, and then print it out. All right, so that one's done. Not too bad. Um, but again, I wanted to show the three different ways because you're, you're, you have to do that before you even start the drawing. Try to diagnose and figure out, okay, if I did it that way, I'd have to do this, this, and this. If I did it from this view, I'd have to do this, this, and this. Pick the one that you think is probably the easiest. Get all the hard stuff out of the way with the 2D drawing, and then there's less things to do when you have to be in 3D because in 3D is a little bit harder. Okay, So that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.